Pretty shitty day today, if you guys can tell. Uh, it's been raining pretty much all morning. There was supposed to be a meet today, but that's canceled. But let me show you guys what I picked up from Home Depot for my uh, intercooler. All right, so I'm gonna be using this. Yeah, this high heat paint. Then I'm gonna use this high heat paint for the actual intercooler. So I'm using this for the entire thing. And then I picked up some mineral spirits. I guess this is like less harsh on your product. So I'm gonna go with this instead of like that airplane stripper or whatever to get off like the excess that needs to come off. And then just like a brush, so I could brush everything off. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about though, like as far as the intercooler. You can see the chipping, like all that white shit. Yeah, I wanna fix that up, touch it up, and paint that logo on there. I think it'll look good. So I'm just gonna take off the front bumper and then hopefully it'll be easy to take off the intercooler. Things ugly. You gotta start by removing the crash beam to get to actual uh, <clears throat> intercooler. So to remove the crash beam, you have to remove the headlights. So there's like one, uh, what is it called, the Phillips head screw here. Then there's a 10 millimeter bolt here you have to take off. And then there's one down here uh, somewhere. One right here, I think, you have to take off for the headlight. And then also this 10 millimeter bolt right here, take it off, comes right out. All right guys, after an hour of fucking trying to take this thing off, it finally came off. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, dry it off and then I'm gonna grab the brush, go over with the brush for a little bit, get all the loose pieces out and then uh, put some of that mineral spirits on it. Kiss me hard before you go Summertime sadness I just wanted you to know The baby you the best Deadpiff.com Nothing more stressful than burying your best bull Feeling empty make you keep that Smith and West full I realize that it's more snakes and less wolves So me and my trade pound is like KD and Westbrook We just trying to get up on that If you look in this, you can see this lighting You can see that the M was like sprayed off Over sprayed But I'm gonna retrace it Now I'm about to start the painting, so I'll probably do about three coats. Coat number one. Answers you doing questionable shit. Your old lady showed me good times on some Eskimo shit. We live in a cold world. I'm on my Eskimo shit. It's sad. Coat number two. Summertime sadness. This should be the last code. Guys, there's shit everywhere, and I apologize for that. But this is day two. This has been a pain in the ass. So far, I've got. I think two coats of the white on. I don't know if it's gonna turn out right, but we'll see. I just basically freehanded this and used the ruler a little bit for this logo. But yeah, I got shit everywhere. So I'm waking up to do coat three. And I think maybe four, I don't know. I'm gonna see what it looks like. Scott Dweller Rowley looked like the biggest life Was trying to pitch an A for white Just to go eat some steak and rice I know you hate this life Jula acting nervous Trying to break the ice I love red bottoms But really hate the spikes It's sad I think that might just be the last coat I don't want it to be too like Obvious So it could be like subtle 
It don't have to be too white. But right, let's go and peel it off. I'm gonna go ahead and peel, put the camera down and peel this off carefully. I was able to clean it up a little bit with that mineral spirit stuff and it looks a lot better. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. Not bad. All that's left is for me to put all this crap back together. So wish me luck and hopefully by the next frame you guys will see this mounted back on. Alright, as you guys can see, I finally finished up the putting the intercooler back on. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm probably gonna do this in a separate video. I'm gonna remove this film and yeah, take it off finally. I have quite a bit of film left over so I'm gonna try and like tint these a little bit like I want to try and tint this corner so we'll see how it goes in a sandbox next to you and her you he was holding a handgun she was giving birth to a baby born to be just like you I I wonder what's that worth I wonder if you, you ever knew you was a role model to me first the next day. I, I woke up in the morning, seen you on the news, looked in the mirror, then realized that I, I, I had something to prove. You told me, don't be like me. Just finished watching cartoons, which is funny now, because all I see is Wally Coyotes in the room. And I run it. And I run it. And I run it. And I run it. That's ironic. I run it. That's ironic. I run it. Soak all of my wounds, hear my tears, all of my tunes. Let my life loose in this booth just for you. Motherfucker, hope y'all amuse. And I run it. And I run it. And I run it. And I run it. That's ironic. Deliberations in later. Popular pie plans pictured here. Wiley Coyote. Wiley Coyote. This shit make a nigga just wanna ride. Reminisce when I have the morning appetite. Now it's time to put everything back together, front bumper at least. And then I should be done. I just wanted to take the car out to show you guys the final product, I guess. It's kind of raining, so I'm trying to make this quick. It's kind of hard to see, but I mean, it looks pretty good. I like the way it looks. It came out pretty nice. I took off the headlight tint, so it looks a lot different now. What do you guys think? Let me show you guys the daily struggle I have with parking in this garage.
So yeah, it scrapes basically every time. It's the only bad thing. But it's only the bottom. It's not like it's affecting the way the front of the lip actually looks. The old lip didn't do that. The new one sits a little bit lower on the edges and sits higher in the middle. So it's kind of, it's weird. Yeah. And I run it. And I run it.